Okay, this is part five of the null sleep video tutorial. And in this part, we will be, he will be showing us how to use duty cycle modulation as an effect. Um, so I'm just going to read this, and then uh, we're going to put it into practice. Uh, next up is a really nice effect for making instruments sound a lot more dynamic than just constant tone. You might want to create a couple new phrases and fill them in with a melody and try this out because you don't want to overload on effects within one phrase and end up with something that sounds like a garbled mess. Um, I'm not actually going to do that for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just going to use what we've already made. Um, so we're just going to go back into our lead and um, I'm just going to make a, a use the same table but make a new effect. Okay. Create a new instrument for this new phrase while you're at it too, and in the instrument settings, adjust the table value to be one that you have not yet used. 0A should do fine. Uh, now hit A left once. For, well, actually, you can do that. I'm just going to add it in the command column um, as far as just a table, just to show you what it sounds like. Uh, actually, let's delete that. Um, this time go straight to the third column with the dashes that you have used for the hop command before but now hit A left and right until you get to W so that would be there we go <clears throat> Fill up the first eight steps, 0, 0 through 0, 07, with this command, and then put HH00 in the following step of the table. Okay, so. Okay, that's to 7, and then we're going to add a hop command. Oh, I passed it. Okay. Try setting the first two steps to 50% then the next four to twenty five percent and the last two to twelve and a half percent now you have a nice duty cycle modulated instrument that sounds a lot more interesting than a straight square wave and indeed it does uh, so let's go ahead and adjust this to fifty and the next four to twenty five and then the last two remain at twelve and a half. And let's see what our instrument now sounds like. Okay, that is the final section, um, and if you've been following along with me, um, and if you've been kind of going off in your own, own way, that's probably better, but if you've been following along as far as the notes that I've been putting in, um, this is what your end result should sound like. <laughs> Not terrible, but not great. Um, just good enough for this tutorial. I hope you know you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, if you've been following along with me, I would suggest um, trying and do you know try and do the uh, tutorial again, but add your own things um, if you decided that you would just follow along as far as what I put down. Um, it's nice to do these tutorials um, at least twice, so you will, you know, you will, it will, you will learn it, and uh, the more you do it, you don't, you know, necessarily have to keep doing tutorials, uh, but just enough that you get comfortable with LSDJ.